What else has been going on? They're still talking about this Drake concert. Drake, who performed at the Apollo last week. Again, I mean, I mean maybe, maybe I'm on, maybe, maybe it's me. Maybe I need to get off social media. He performed at the Apollo in Harlem, one of the world's most famous theaters. Small, very, very small. If you've ever been to the Apollo, it's not big. It's an old school theater. And apparently he did all the hits. I couldn't name more than five of them. That's me. I'm in the minority. And uh, uh, people were saying, you know, he, 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 he you know, he, the king is back and he's, he's proven that he's the gen- And he is all those things. Drake is the accomplishments. And he brought out Cameron and he brought out uh, Joel Santana. And he brought out, um, what's his name? Who's, who's the, uh, the capo? He brought out Jim Jones, the whole dip sets. He had a Harlem uh, bodega set. And I'm, I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm like, I want to see what's so incredible about Drake. And, and, and a few, not a few years ago, when Drake first came out and he was popping, popping like his second album, my sons, they were young. I, I don't know the timeline. I don't care about the timeline of Drake. I really, I don't. I try to listen to his music. There's some joints. I like that pound cake joint because Jay-Z's on there. But I remember when my son was probably 12 years old. He said, Drake is like a flying car. And it made perfect sense to me. Because when I watched Drake, the highlights of Drake going through the, the hits and the songs at the Apollo... He does it all. He truly is like a flying car. He does his lover boy songs. He does his hardcore songs. He did that It's Yours, that's Wu-Tang song. He, he, he's got all of it. He does his southern stuff. He does his Jamaican patois stuff. He does his 90s New York stuff. He does his R&B stuff. He put out a house record. He's like a plug and play. Like a flying car. You've never seen anything like that in hip-hop. Somebody who could do hardcore hip-hop songs, Sade songs, Aaliyah songs, Southern hip-hop songs, It's Yours Wu-Tang songs. He could rhyme with the grimiest of the grimy, sing with the, 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 the pop stars. Like, it, it, like he's literally like a flying, you'll never see it. Like flying He's ahead of his time. Whether it's good, not good, people love that fucking Drake. But he's like a cosplay hip-hop toy. It's like cosplay. Who are you, man? You're half black, half white. Your mother's Jewish. You were bar mitzvahed. You're more Jew than most Jews. Yet you could braid your hair. You could do an afro. You could get a fucking part in it. You could speak Hebrew. You could do accents. You could sing. This guy's like a fucking human crayon box of hip hop. He does not the the sixteen box, not the not the thirty. He's like the big one hundred and sixty four colors of hip hop. He does it all. No one else can do that. It's like cosplay. Whatever the tone, whatever the vibe is, Drizzy Drake can do it, and I respect it. But, I mean, he does a concert at the Apollo. Like, again, it's like people just, they're still talking about him performing at the, at the, at the Apollo. He's wearing Cameron's pink fur. It's amazing what, what kind of an uproar this guy can cause.